at six polls show California is poised to this fall join five other states to legalize recreational use of marijuana. Colorado, of course, was the first state to legalize the recreational use of pot. And even though it is a 14 hour car drive away, one law enforcement official says Colorado has become the drug dealer. As Dave Delosier tells us, the flow of marijuana from Colorado led to a pair of recent arrests in Baraboo. And we were able to set up in certain areas and watch for his return. Acting on a tip that Maximilian Greenwood and Kylie Atkins were returning to Baraboo from Colorado, police stopped their vehicle. They located a large amount of marijuana as well as marijuana edibles in the vehicle. Also located were actual receipts from dispensaries from the state of Colorado. Police arrested Greenwood twice in 2014 for similar crimes and think this is far from his first trip to Colorado. We have information to believe uh, from the co-actor in this that the male suspect uh, travels on either a weekly or bi-weekly status to Colorado to pick up marijuana. Voters in Colorado legalized recreational use of marijuana there in 2012. So it's 157 and 53 cents. What is legal to buy and use there is now finding its way to states like Wisconsin where it is illegal. There's no two ways about it that it's happening. It's happening on a daily basis um, throughout the state of Wisconsin. Law enforcement had hoped that the 14-hour drive to Colorado would be a buffer from marijuana trafficking. Instead, the easy access to pot in Colorado has been the lure. So in essence, Colorado has become the drug dealer. It is a problem that only stands to grow as other states, like California, consider legalizing the recreational use of marijuana. Unless and until all 50 states make it legal, it's a problem for those states that don't make it legal. And while the possession of small amounts of pot are generally treated with a slap on the wrist, bringing a couple of pounds back with the intent to sell is something else. I would simply caution anybody considering going to another state to purchase marijuana where it's legal there and return to a state where it's not legal to think twice because you are looking at felony charges and it simply isn't worth it. In Baraboo, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. Now, at the time of this most recent arrest, Maximilian Greenwood was on parole for the two prior drug arrests. He is now being held on this felony possession charge and a probation hold.